whatever he wishes to do, staying there. But the congregation is the only, they can rejoice as he is preaching, of course, or say amen when the word comes forth. But as far as getting up and giving uh, uh, messages and tongues and, and interpretation while the, the Holy Spirit is working through the pastor, the scripture condemns that and said the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophet. The pastor then must call this individual down and ask them to be reverent and to keep their place. The pastor must be a man that has got a very humble way about him, but not too humble for what he could be like the Lord Jesus Christ when he seen wrong going on in the church. He plaited ropes and ran them out of the church. And now the church of God is the house of judgment. And the pastor is the highest order in the church. The elder is the highest thing in the apostolic church outside of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit brings his message straight to the elder. And the elder gives it to the people. The saints in their gifts shall have their place first. Feeder of the flock. And they are pastors, shepherds. And this gospel that I preach, they believe it. That's the reason they sponsor it. That's the reason they're setting up here on the platform to say that we represent this meeting. And I, the converts, the people who've offered their life to Christ in their future service, I trust that by all means you'll see some of these ministers. And early, in the, before the meeting starts, let them gather in an appointed room and wait on the ministry of their Lord as the pastor has to do himself before he comes into the audience. He must take the Bible, study in the quietness of his room in the Spirit, and be anointed to come out before the audience to speak. If he doesn't, he's going to be confused when he gets out there. Let each man and each woman with a spiritual gift come before the Lord, and being that the pastor has a single ministry he is a prophet the English word of preacher means a prophet that's a fourth teller of the word different kinds of eagles but you see in the church there is a pastor and that pastor is a special person he's built to where he can uh, he can put up with the fussings of the people he is a burden barrier he's the ox of the team He's a man that can sit down when the, somebody's got something against somebody else and sit down with them two families and take neither side and reason it out and bring it right back into sweetness. He's a pastor. He knows how to take care of things. The evangelist is a special man. He's a man that's burning like a fireball. He runs into a city and preaches his message and gets out of there somewhere else. See, he's a special man. The teacher is a special man. He sits back under the anointing of the Spirit and is able to take the words and put them together by the Holy Spirit. That the pastor evangelist, either one could not compare with him. And then we find out the apostle is a special man. He's a, he's a setter in order. He's a man that's sent from God to set the things in order. The prophet is a special man. A prophet is a man of whom the word of the Lord comes to because the prophet is so designed life that his subconscious and his first conscience is so close together that he doesn't go to sleep to dream his dream. He sees it when he's wide awake. See? Now that's something God has to do. See, he sees what's going. A prophet foresees way off. See, the things that is coming. Uh, uh, he sees the cup of God's wrath full before it is filled. <laughs> he can say, Thus saith the Lord. Amen. You're a narrow-minded pastor. You poor, decrepit, I don't know what. You need an old-fashioned pastor that'll shake your hair for you. That'll tell you the truth. Jezebel hated her pastor. Her pastor was Elijah. But he told her what was going to happen. She had to listen anyhow. She wouldn't accept him as the pastor, but God sent him as the pastor. He was God's pastor. Now, watch what happened. The crow, reason he can eat, he can. respected 
what he was. If you can't respect the man, respect the office he holds in God. That's exactly right. See? Respect him. If a minister comes up, your pastor, always respect him. I've heard congregations talk about their pastor. How I just talk about him, running down, ridicule him. How is that pastor ever going to do anything for you? He can't do it. You, you don't, you don't, re- I don't say this church, but I mean churches I have seen. That if you, you've got to love your pastor. You've got to know that he's a human being, but yet God has made him his pastor. The Holy Ghost has made him overseer. Then you've got to respect him in that manner. And no matter what the pastor's done, if you respect him in your heart as God's servant, God will respect you for doing it. Amen. He that, he that receiveth me, receiveth him that sent me, Jesus said. He that don't receive me can't receive him. See, they said God was their father. They said, your father's the devil. So, you see, you've got to respect it and believe it. Believe that he is. Yes, Martha, believe it. And that's one little thing I hit on this morning. That Ethiopian woman that time. 